Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix when Skulls and Bones game is not loading on your Windows computer. So if the game is not loading at all, or if the game is stuck on loading, then please follow the steps shown in this video. Now the first step is to restart your computer. Do not ignore this step. Just restart your computer once and after the system restart, try launching the game. Next step is to go to downloads in Ubisoft Connect and then click on play on the controller icon. So I have the game on Epic Games Launcher. Um, I don't have the game on Ubisoft Connect. So in Ubisoft Connect, if you have the game, if you have installed the game on Ubisoft Connect, so click on the three horizontal lines on the top left and then go to downloads. Over here, you will find a skull and bone game. And here you can see controller icon which says play. So you can click over here and then try to launch the game. Now, next step is to run the game from the game installation folder. Now this has worked for many players, so it might work for you. So if you have the game on Ubisoft Connect, then go to games and then click on the game and go to properties and then click on open folder. It will straight away take you to the game installation folder. Now find the game exe file. So here you can see the game exe file. So make a right click on the game exe file. And then go to properties and then go to this tab and then put a check on the box which says run this program as an administrator click on apply click on ok make a double click launch the game from here so instead of launching the game from ubisoft connect or epic games launcher you can launch the game from the game installation folder as an administrator you can even try this exe file make a right click select properties and then put a check on run this program as an administrator apply OK, make a double click, launch the game. If you have the game Epic Games Launcher, then click on this three dots over here on the game icon and then click on manage. And then here you can see the folder icon, click on it and it will straight away take you to the game installation folder. Do the same thing, right click properties and then put a check, run this program as an administrator, apply OK, make a double click, launch the game. You can do the same thing with this, with this exe file and then check. Now still you're facing the problem, then again make a right click on the game exe file, select properties and this time put a check over here and then select Windows 8 from the list and then click on apply, click on OK and then make a double click launch the game. If that does not work, you can this time you can select Windows 7 over here and then click on apply, click on OK make a double click launch the game. You can do the same thing with this exe file, make a right click, select properties and then put a check over here and then click on apply, click on OK, launch the game. If that does not work, you can try Windows 7 over here. Click on apply, click on OK, make a double click, launch the game. If that does not work, again make a right click, select properties. This time put a check on the box which says disable full screen optimization. Then click on apply, click on OK, make a double click, launch the game. Do the same thing with the second exe file and put a check over here, disable full screen optimization, apply. OK, make a double click, launch the game. Now, still you're facing the problem in that case, you can uncheck all the all these boxes. So if checking all these boxes does not resolve the problem, you can uncheck these boxes. Do the same thing with the second exe file. Uncheck all these boxes. And then follow the next step. Now, the next step is to Uninstall and reinstall BattleEye. Now for this, in the game installation folder, open this BattleEye folder. And then here you can see uninstall BattleEye. So make a right click and then click on run as administrator. Click on yes to allow. Click on yes. Click on OK. Now here you can see now you have to reinstall. So here you can see install BattleEye. Make a right click and then Click on run as administrator, click on yes to allow. And now you can launch the game. Still you're facing the problem, then uninstall battle I once again, make a right click, run as administrator, click on yes to allow, click on yes. Okay, now launch the game. So you can launch the game from here. If you have the game on Ubisoft Connect, if you have the game on Epic Games Launcher, you can launch the game from here. So launch the game. And when you launch the game, it will reinstall battle I because we have uninstalled it. So here you can see it's giving a prompt to install BattleEye. So click on OK. 
click on yes to allow and it will reinstall battle eye and then you should be able to launch the game so let me close the game for now now the next step is to do a clean installation of your graphics card driver so if you have nvidia card go to nvidia website if you have amd card go to amd website i'm showing for nvidia so go to nvidia website and then select the right product type for me it's ge force and then select the right product series select your series over here and then select your graphic card make sure that you select your graphic card over here and if you have windows 10 select windows 10 if you have windows 11 select windows 11 now click on start search now scroll down the latest geforce game ready driver right now is driver version 551.52 so click on get download and then click on download now now once the download is complete you have to run this exe file now once you run the exe file you will see this screen click on agree and continue and then put a check on the box put a check on custom select custom and then click on next and then put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation make sure you put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation and then click on next and first of all it will uninstall the old driver and then it will do a clean installation of the new driver and after that restart the computer restart is a must and then launch the game now the next step is to now this is for laptop users with dual graphic card make sure that you run the game on dedicated graphic card now for this type in graphic settings in windows search box and then click on graphic settings and then click on browse over here and then go to the game installation folder if the game installed in c drive open c drive and then open the game folder and then select the game exe file and then click on add once the game is added over here click on options select high performance now click on save again click on browse and then open select the second exe file now click on add and then click on options select high performance now click on save now try to launch the game next step is to allow the game exe file to your antivirus program so if you have any third party antivirus make sure that you allow the game exe file to your antivirus program now if you are using windows security then open windows settings go to privacy and security if you have windows 11 and then click on windows security in windows 10 you will have an option update and security then click on windows security now click on virus and threat protection scroll down at the end you will see manage ransomware protection click on it now click on allow an app through control folder access click on yes to allow click on add an allowed app browse all apps now go to the game installation folder once again and then open the game folder and then select the game exe file and then click on open again click on add an allowed app browse all apps second the select the second exe file now click on open again click on add an allowed app browse all apps and this time open the battle eye and select this be service underscore x64 and once it is added now type in control panel in windows search box and then open control panel click on system and security windows defender firewall click on allow an app or feature through windows defender firewall click on change settings on the top click on allow another app click on browse and then again go to the game installation folder and then open the game folder so wherever the game is installed go to the game installation folder select the game exe file click on open and click on add and again click on allow another app browse and then select the second exe file click on open click on add again click on allow another app and then click on browse and then open this battle eye select this and then click on open click on add so once the game is added over here so make sure the games are added over here so in my case the game is already added so once the game is added on the bottom click on ok and then launch the game and then check now the next step is to verify the game files to verify the game files in ubisoft connect uh, go to games click on the game over here go to properties and then click on verify files and once the verification is done launch the game in epic games launcher you can click on this three dot 
and then click on manage and then over here let me check okay so click over here on the three dots and then over here uh, go to manage so I don't see the verify option if you see the ver verify option click on verify so so if you see the verify option over here try to verify I don't have that option in over here so if you see the option then verify the game files now the next step is to delete the config file now before you delete the config file let me inform you that you will lose all the saved settings in the game now for this you can go to file explorer and then go to documents and then open skull and bones over here and here you can see skull and bones config file make a right click and then click on delete once this is deleted now you can launch the game next step is to disable overlay so close all the overlay application so if you have overlay on in discord turn it off if you have overlay on in geforce experience turn it off to turn off the overlay in game uh, in ubisoft connect go to settings and over here you can see the option which says enable in-game overlay for the supported game so you can uncheck it whenever you want to enable the in-game overlay you can always put a check over here and you can always enable it now also close all the overclocking applications so if you have msi afterburner or river tuner so if you have any kind of overlay application running on the computer make sure that you close all the overclocking application and then launch the game next step is to try dx11 or dx12 in the launch option so go to the game and then go to properties and scroll down here you can see game launch arguments click on add command line arguments over here type in dash dx11 and then click on save now you can launch the game and then check if that does not work you can click on edit one and then this time type in dash dx12 and then click on save and then launch the game now for epic games launcher on the top right here you can see a profile icon click on it then go to settings and then scroll down at the bottom you will find the game over here click on the game now click on additional command line arguments now over here type in dash dx11 and then you can launch the game and then check if that does not work you can type in dash dx12 and then check now if nothing is working if this is not working in that case you can remove this and you can uncheck this do the same thing in the ubisoft connect if this is not working you can remove this and then click on save and then follow the next step now the next step is to if you are able to launch the game set the priority to real time so if you are not able to launch the game you can skip this step but if you are able to launch the game launch the game and once the game is running you can make a right click on the start menu and then click on the task manager So let the game open first. Now once the game is open, uh, make a right click on the game and then make a right click on this game and go to the details tab. So go to details and here see the game, make a right click on the game exe file, select set priority and set it to real time and then click on change priority and then check the performance also lower down graphic settings so switch to window mode and lower down graphic settings so go to the game now once you are in the game uh, go to settings and then go to visual now go to display settings if hdr is on turn it off and then if this is set to borderless you can switch to window mode turn off the v-sync and if you want to limit the fps you can turn it on and you can i will set it to 60 and then apply the settings and then go to graphics settings now now if graphics quality is set to ultra high you can 
set it to very high you can even go for high or you can even go for medium now scroll down upscaling type if you are using nvidia dlss set it to quality and if you are using amd fsr2 then set it to quality and then scroll down and make sure that motion blur is off ray tracing if it is on turn it off turn off the ray tracing and then apply the settings and then check the performance now the next step is to install visual c++ file for this copy this link the link is provided in the video description open this link in a browser it will take you to microsoft website over here you can see visual studio 2015 17 19 and 22 download x86 and download x64 so you have to download both x86 and x64 and then run this exe file now click on repair if you see repair if you see the install option click on install click on yes to allow download this x64 file as well again if you see the repair option uh, click on repair if you see the install option you have to click on install and let the installation complete make sure both the installation are complete that is x86 and x64 both are installed once installed restart your computer make sure that you restart your computer after this and after the system restart try launching the game now the next step is to unplug all the external devices so if you have any external devices which are not using any kind of usb adapter connected disconnected disconnect additional controller connected to the computer disconnect multiple monitor try launching the game on single monitor close all the overlay application which we which we have already done also close all the overclocking application now if you have any third party application running in task manager close it close all the browsers including all your browsers and third party application if you have any third party application running over here make a right click then just close all the third party application so also if you have undervolted your computer remove the undervolt and then launch the game to perform clean boot type in system configuration in windows search box and then click on system configuration and then go to the services tab and then put a check on the box which says hide all microsoft services and then click on disable all in my case this option is grayed out i already did it in your case this would be highlighted so make sure first of all put a check on hide all microsoft services first then click on disable all and then click on apply click on ok you will see a restart option restart your computer and then launch the game next step is to increase the virtual memory so to increase the virtual memory type in view advanced system settings in windows search box and then click on view advanced system settings and then click on the first settings and then go to advanced tab and then click on change over here and then select the drive so uncheck the box which says automatically manage paging file size for all drives uncheck this box and select the drive where the game is installed so select the drive and then once you select the right drive now put a check on custom size and for initial size it's 1.5 into total ram so you can check the total ram in windows settings you can go to system and then go to about and total ram in my case is 16 gigabyte so you can calculate accordingly in my case is 16 gb so i will calculate as per 16 gb so and first of all we have to convert 16 gb into megabyte so we will open calculator so type in calculator in run box and then click on ok and over here uh, it's 16 1.5 into total ram total ram in my case it's 16 ram 16 gb so 1 16 into 1024 1024 is actually 1 GB is equal to 1024 megabyte so 16 GB in megabyte will be 16384 into 1 1.5 1.5 into total RAM this is my total RAM in megabyte now 1.5 into total RAM total RAM that is into 1.5 
So in my case, initial size is 24576. 24576. And maximum size is 3 into total RAM. Now total RAM in my case, that is 16 gigabyte. I have 16 gigabyte of RAM. So 16 into 1024. I have converted this in megabyte. Megabyte now that is 3 into total RAM. So total RAM is this much into 3. That is 49152. 49152. 491152. 15, 1. Now click on set over here. Then click on OK. OK. Apply. OK. OK. Now restart computer. Make sure that you restart your computer after this. Now the next step is to update Windows to the latest version. Now this is important. So go to Windows Update. Go to Windows Update or Update and Security and then click on Check for Update. Once all the updates are installed over here, then restart a computer. So make sure that after Windows Update are installed, you have to restart a computer and after the system restart, launch the game. Next step is to update the system BIOS. So go to your system manufacturer website. So if you have a Dell computer, go to Dell. If you have Lenovo, go to Lenovo. If you have HP, go to HP website. Select your model number. Make sure that you select your computer and then find the latest BIOS update available. Now, in case of laptop, before you update the system BIOS, make sure battery on your computer is more than 10% and the AC adapter, the charger is connected to the computer. During the BIOS update, your system will restart. Do not unplug the power cable when it's updating the system BIOS. After the BIOS update, log into the computer and then launch the game. The last step is to uninstall and reinstall the game to different drive. So if nothing is working, you can uninstall the game. Now after you uninstall the game in Epic Games Launcher, you can uninstall the game from here. Now after you uninstall the game, go to the game installation folder, delete the game folder, restart your computer and then reinstall the game to C drive. So if the game is installed to another drive, in that case, you can install the game to C drive and then check if the game is already installed in C drive. In that case, you can try to install the game to another SSD and then check. So one of the steps shown in this video should help you to get the game running on your Windows computer. So that'll be all. Thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel.